Hey, this is Andrew with 11 Trees. I'm going to give you a quick tour of Annotate Pro and our new toolbar feature and interaction with Google Docs. We have a similar video for Canvas SpeedGrader shows off the same features, but using Canvas, so check that video out if that's uh, a tool that you use. So Annotate is a Chrome extension, which means once you install it, it's always available in your toolbar in Chrome. You can click the green A, pop it open, Inside, you can review the libraries that you have made active and available. And one of the cool things about Annotate is it lets you combine libraries of comments. Uh, so you could have libraries shared with you by someone, one you've created, one your institution provided, roll all three together and use them at the same time. So if you watch here, I'll activate College Edition and my favorites fill in. I've got full text search of these libraries. So if I'm looking for something about commas, I can find a bunch of particular items of feedback. Most of them include links out to additional resources. So that's been annotated for a while. What's new is the toolbar. Let me reload it here. Toolbar can be at the top of the screen or the right of the screen. And what it does, it takes clicks away from you as you're reviewing work, in this case, in Google Docs. So I'm going to highlight and typically I would click this button to add a freeform comment as we think of it, a custom comment. What you can do with Annotate is click a favorite button to add an entire chunk of text, which you can then personalize. So one of the many cool things about this is to the student or the recipient, there is no difference. They're getting a Google Doc with comments in it. The comments just happen to have been created very powerfully by you using Annotate Pro. So I can, I'm just going to randomly pick things here so I don't spend too much time. Uh, I can also use a full text search to find comments that are appropriate and add. So that's it. That's as complicated as it gets. I can put the toolbar on the right hand side uh, through one of the, the settings here if I would like. The advantage to the top is using Google Docs is that I get a history of comments. So this rather creepy looking avatar over here is our little joke. That's a character from uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. What I can see here are my comments for this student dating back to the beginning of time, not just in this document, but potentially across multiple documents, even terms. So that's a benefit to using the top toolbar. I can pop up here, review my complete feed of all the feedback that I've created for all my students, see a breakdown of comments by group, comments by specific comment, and then see all of the comments that I have created, page through them, filter by date. I can search for comments that were completely customized and then choose to add them to a particular library. So giving you a quick feel for both the interaction on the Google Docs side and then the how do you interact with this data on the back end. Of course, core functionality inside of Annotate is the ability to edit these libraries, to add new groups, to add new comments, to sort comments. Very intuitive, easy to use editor. And for institutional clients, all of these libraries, again, are shareable, both formally and informally. So quick whiz through Annotate Pro and our new toolbar features that make it so really easy to leverage a complete library of uh, comments and create fantastic feedback for your students.